Hello, fellow trainers. I'm Trainer James, and you're watching Pokemon Black Randomizer Nuzlocke. This is episode number 34, and uh, today's episode is not going to be quite as long as normal episodes. I was not aware that we could get encounters in Icarus City, <laughs> but it's a Genesect. Okay. Um, uh, uh, so we can't stay in because we are weak to bug. Um, let's go to Leon. So as <laughs> it's a Genesect, what? As, as I was saying, uh, this episode isn't going to be quite as long as normal episodes, only because um, it's kind of late. It's kind of late, and and uh, I'm tired. I, I went to a wedding tonight, and I had a lot of fun. My my girlfriend and I went. It's Dragon Rage the Genesect, and yeah, so like we just danced our butts off, right? And I got to dance to the Frozen song, Let It Go, which was a whole lot of fun. Pickles, come here. Come here. But yeah, that, that's why I'm like wearing this shirt with the, the white underneath. I uh, actually just got home. And I figured, you know what? I have to record this episode. So let me just go ahead and do it in what I'm already wearing. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch this Genesect in an Ultra Ball. Probably not going to be able to. Yeah. Watch this be like the entire episode. Just this whole thing. But yeah, like, my friend Jenny got married. And she had invited me to come, so I was like, yeah, you know, I can go, definitely. And and I'm really glad I did, because, like I said, we uh, had a really good time. The, the like, wedding part itself was relatively short compared to past weddings I had been to, and then just the, the, the uh, reception itself was really fun. Let's see, who can I go into? Uh, maybe Ren, I guess? Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, what? Oh, uh, no, not Pokemon. I want Bag. Well, I don't know how I'm going to be able to catch this Genesect. So we're just going to keep throwing Ultra Balls at it and hope that we catch it. Hopefully, <laughs> the ball's not even rolling. Of course not. Of course not. Um, do I have any... Oh, I don't think I have any moves, like, status moves. No, Leaf Seed is no good. None of those are good. None of those. None of those. None of those. And none of those. Okay, so I don't have anything to do to this Genesect. That's going to help us. No Paralysis. No sweet moves. So let's just keep chucking Pokeballs, I guess. I mean, I'm fine with... We have a lot. So hopefully we manage to catch it in one of these balls. But until then, I will just go ahead and keep talking to you guys. Um, let me know in the comment section below how you're doing. Or how even your weekend was. Because this video is going up on Sunday. Uh, November 8th. Yeah, which is Sunday. And today's actually Saturday. Well, Saturday night. Late Saturday night. Which is why I'm also uh, not talking as loud as I normally do. Because I don't want to wake anyone up, you know? Come on, Genesec! Stay in the pool! You want on the team? Stay in the pool! Please? Please? I have all these balls that you can stay in. Oh, so many. I don't want to lose Ren. Okay, I, I mean, I, at least the ball is shaking now. But we, we only have seven Ultra Balls left. Of course. Okay, so... <gasps> we 
We got Genesect. <laughs> Put hashtag uh, Genesect in the comment section below. Because mm, we got Genesect. The Paleozoic Pokemon. Over 300 million years ago, it was feared as the strongest of hunters. It has been modified by Team Plasma. I feel like Genesect... Like, do you guys remember... There was like this theory that Genesect was just like a modified Kabutops. Let me know if, if you remember hearing that at all. Let's see, what are we gonna name Genesect? I kinda... I kinda wanna name Genesect after someone. Alright, so we have the name... Jared for Genesect. Jared Viers. He's a relatively new person to the channel, so Jared, this Genesect is for you. Thank you for being a su subscriber and a commenter and for watching the content. What? Genesects and Reshirams in this water. Oh my goodness. Um. Ooh, a Reshiram took down Terra last time. Let's Bomerang it though. Okay, we do resist Flamethrower and it is raining. Okay, okay, okay. Bomerang will be super effective. Okay, so one more Bomerang will take this Reshiram out. A Bubble Beam will too. A Bubble Beam should. Ancient power. Okay, it's, it's neutral. Okay. Good job, Ruffalo. You're awesome, Ruffalo! <laughs> Ruffalo's just so good for the team. Like, I know we have a lot of water types in the team, but... Ruffalo's just so good. Alright, let's, um... I'm gonna hop into the Pokemon Center, and we're gonna heal up the team real quick. And then I also want to buy some more Pokeballs. So let's see, we can buy more Ultra Balls. So, we have a lot of money. Because we got that one really expensive fairy from that one woman. Uh, yeah, that we sold to her. I, I don't remember what episode that was. But yeah, like, we talked to this woman and she gave us this really... Or no, we found a berry, and we sold it to her, and she gave us, like, a hundred thousand polka dollars for her or something. Something absurd. It was crazy. Um, we didn't use any great balls. But we could probably use some potions? Uh, let's see. Let's, let's, uh, stock up on hyper potions. We have 10 Hyper Potions, 10 Super Potions, 1 Normal Potion. Should be fine. And I'm not... I, I don't remember what all there is to do in this town. Actually, you know what? Let's just go look at Jared real quick. Let's see what Jared's rocking. Uh, in terms of... You know, moves and st uh, stats and stuff. So we have good old Jared! See, he's got Lock On, Flame Charge, Magnet Bomb, and Slash. He's got the Download Ability with the Timid Nature. I... Timid, that's up speed and lower special attack, I think. I'm pretty sure that's Timid. But I think Jolly is the one that ups... Oh, yeah. So it lowers a physical attack, not special attack. But, yeah, these are all physical attacks. I mean, I knew Slash was, and Flame Charge. I couldn't remember if Magnet Bomb was, though. Magnet Bomb does never miss, though. That, that is pretty cool. Let me know in the comment section below. I was gonna say, let me know if we should add Jared to the team. But looking at our team, I like our team, though. Because... Like I said, we have a lot of water Pokemon, right? 
which I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and do a team recap. So we have Ruffalo, our level 38, Crawdox, who's holding the Shallow, and his Vice Grip, Bubble Beam, Boomerang, and Harden. And then we have Leon, our level 39, Charizard, who's also holding the Shallow, and his Flame Burst, Dragon Rage, Wing Attack, and Smoke Screen. We have Ren, our level 39, Empoleon, holding the Mystic Water, and those Brine, Metal Claw, Aqua Jet, and Peck. We have John Cena, our level 39, Machamp, who's holding the Choice Band, who knows Karate Chop, Vital Throw, um, Rock Wrecker, and Boomerang. And we have Vicky, our level 39, uh, Celio, who's holding the Choice Specs, and who knows Aurora Beam, Body Slam, Water Gun, and Vacuum Wave. And then last up, we have William, our level 39, Superior, who's holding the Big Root. Who knows? Mega Drain, Coil, Reef Blade, and Leech Seed. So I, 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 I do like our team. So maybe if if we happen to lose a team member, we could put Jared on the team. But I, I'm not gonna put Jared on the team right now, though. You wanna talk to me, lady? Everybody has a different reason for their trips, and the same could be said for gift giving. I'll give you this to commemorate this encounter with me. Cool. Okay. She give us uh, being a shock. Now, who can learn it? Who can learn it? I mean, not that I need anyone to learn it, but who can learn it nonetheless? Uh, Ruffalo, Leon, Ren, and John Cena. Okay. Well, that's not bad. <laughs> give Ren a poison type move. Okay, we won't worry about that right now. We'll just uh, head on out into the rain. Wish I would have brought my uh, raincoat if I'd have known better. The legendary Pokemon Zekrom shared its wisdom with the hero and defied foes with fierce lightning. Funny, we just battled Reshiram. Ooh. What say you, lady? The hero and that Pokemon were as close as a parent and child. People were filled with awe and looked up to them, and that is said to be the beginning of what became Ancient Unova. That's cool. Some war for you guys that enjoy it. What is this? Uh, fans of everything Pokemon, the Pokemon fan club. Okay. Do we get anything in here? By chance? <clears throat> I'm the chairman who loves Pokemon the most among Poke fans in the entire world. If you are a trainer, I will. Will you show me? How you are raising your Pokemon with loving care? Oh, which Pokemon will you show me? Uh, let's... Mm. Let's give you Ren. We've had her the longest. Oh, this Empoleon was level 10 when you met. But now it's level 39. You raised it well. You must be affectionate. Experience share. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That is a token of gratitude for showing me your great love for your Pokemon. Awesome, awesome. Welcome to the Pokemon Fan Club. Shall I check how friendly your Pokemon is towards you? Yeah, let's see how uh, good Ren is. Oh my, you're Empoleon. It is super friendly to you. I'm a bit jealous. Skull, Skull. Our Empoleon is super friendly to us. That's uh, Empoleon is uh, Skull's favorite Pokemon. Yeah. Empoleon's a great Pokemon. Like, you know, I think Gen 4 has the best starters out of all eight generations. Like, I just really enjoy, you know, Chimchar, Piplup, and Turtwig, and all of their evolutions. Hi! This way, please! Exciting, thrilling, zipping, chilling, it's Pep Quiz! Today's challenger is this person! Hiya! Welcome! Pep Quiz starts now! Answer lots of quizzy questions and watch your brain get brainier. Let's start with a question. Good luck! <laughs> Pardon me. I ate a lot of food at the wedding, by the way. <laughs> so, there might be more burps coming. Just so you know. <laughs> a question. What is the attaching Pokemon? Uh... Oh my, it's tremendously difficult. Can the challenger answer this? Hit, hit. Oh no, the audience is asking for a hint. Okay, okay. I'll give you a hint. Hint, it's a very small Pokemon. Ha <laughs> ha, this is a good hint. Challenger, please answer. 
what is the attaching Pokemon? Uh, please choose where you want your word or phrase to be placed. Um, what is the attaching Pokemon? I'm going to look this up because I have no idea what the attaching Pokemon is. If you know, you can let me know in the comment section below to see uh, how dumb I am, right? Attaching Pokemon. Pep Quiz Answers, GameSpot, don't mind if I do. Uh, Joltik, it's called the Attachment Pokemon, so Joltik. All right, let's go to the Jays. I did not know that. I did not know that Joltik was the Attaching Pokemon. I guess that makes sense since Joltik is based on a tick. The ticks are going to attach to you to suck the blood out of you. So confirmed. Okay. Woohoo! That is correct. You go, yeah, you, you do. Yeah, yeah, good hustle. Congratulations. Now, this is a prize. It's an antidote. Did all that for an antidote? <laughs> okay. Exciting, thrilling, zipping, chilling, that's pep quiz. See you tomorrow. Like, what's the best item you can get from that? Always, the tower looms, disdainful of the wind and snow. Perhaps its presence has a special meaning for people. What's in here? What is this? It's a gym? Please, take this fresh water. Ice could be melted with fire or shattered with fighting. Or you might want to smash it into dust with rock or steel. Okay, so it's the ice type gym. Hmm. Okay, well, next episode is episode 35. So that would put us back on track to doing gyms every uh, five episodes if we decided to do that. Can't go down that way. So. Okay, so. A quick ball. Cool. Okay. Could have been useful on uh, Genesect. I mean, we got Genesect regardless. Uh, okay, this is a new encounter. Route 8. Okay, cool, cool. <gasps> we got a second choice specs. That is awesome. We really need the, uh... Oh no! We have all of them. We have Choice Band, Choice Scarf, and Choice Spec. Now we have two Choice Specs. So anyways, um... Let's, let's see what this encounter is. An Electrike! Okay. Okay. That's cool. Um... Do I think a Quick Ball will catch him? We're gonna find out. Hopefully it does. <laughs> Cause I just stayed in with Ruffalo on an electric type. And it does. We got a Genesect and an Electrike. Ooh. <laughs> okay, using electricity stored in its fur, it stimulates its muscles to heighten its reaction speed. The lightning Pokemon. Cool, cool, cool. Yes. Um, so I am going to name this uh, Storm after my girlfriend. My, my girlfriend is playing uh, Omega Ruby. And she's doing a dice lock in it. And she caught an Electrike. Granted, it was female. But she named it Storm. So, Jen, that Electrike was for you. <laughs> Woo! I want to thank you guys for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, you can click right up here for another awesome video. You can click right up here for our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Dice Lock series. Click up there to subscribe. Give me a hashtag QuickBall if you made it this far, and I hope you have a wonderful day. May Arceus bless you, and goodbye.